and then one more it comes out front hey everybody I want to give you a quick overview of this uh, project uh, I'm attempting to make a monster catcher which brings it outside one by one and um, as you can see here one feature is uh, <laughs> it's got a lot of track another feature is that jumpy thing in the back and uh, what that does is it separates the empty minecarts from the full minecarts as you can see the empty minecarts uh, drop straight down and I'm going to hitch a ride and oh missed it and uh, <laughs> I'm going to hitch a ride and show you what happens with a full one there you go we made the jump and here's a safety jump which uh, we make as well easily and um, so out comes one monster on one minecart and from here on there's a queue system and I'm going to try and put something fun in the end so um, that was that, a quick uh, glance into it before I put the roof on top and the monster starts spawning thanks for watching bye bye hey just a small little update on this project um, it, <laughs> it was quite funny it didn't really go as I hoped but it did bring me back uh, three or four creepers and uh, that didn't go too well I kind of died with a mess um, but it did overall work <laughs> it's a horrible big hole that it created there and uh, yeah this is the inside I turned off monsters for a, <laughs> for a second to be able to repair this and uh, that's what I'm going to do now and try again thanks for watching bye okay I made some improvements uh, what we're looking at here is the, the start stop system of course um, I wired it both ways so that if a card would arrive um, a signal would trigger so that um, the cards in line would move ahead one space uh, this is so that it won't bug at the end and um, <coughs> it keeps it a bit uh, better flowing um, over here there is a corner with a, a bit of redstone to it so when I uh, when I want to have one card come, out, come to the front I, I pull the switch or the lever button thing and uh, well the the chain starts flowing one card comes out uh, this is timed so it, it it will be uh, continuing to the third track or the rightmost hand side one um, and then obviously the card will uh, pass in in front of the well in the in the first row so you can you can shoot at monsters <laughs> um, and uh, if if there's nobody here to operate it then then it will just uh, be in the in the off position here so uh, when when there is a card that somehow arrives uh, with monster then then it will just uh, it will just arrive and uh, hopefully the next cards will uh, flow along nicely and go back into the system uh, so hopefully that, that turns out that there's just a few monsters waiting here and um, if there's uh, if there's more as for then, then they will keep circulating back into the system so this is the dark room. I made some tiny improvements, although I 
suck at maneuvering through them. Uh, I made some nice little barriers so I don't get jumped uh, while attempting to uh, show the inside. Uh, obviously I made these mostly so I can peek inside and see if the system is still working. Um, it's basically reset now so gives me the opportunity to uh, show the backside. This is where I said I have um, a refilling area so I can plunk down a few uh, few cards here and yeah here's the last one uh, I need to put one down there and uh, obviously if I um, if I activate this bit of circuit and as you can see they disappeared so I can quickly refill um, it and we already have a winner so not the first card as you saw sometimes it does bug out a bit um, but I can uh, release that first one. Oh, and another one arrived. And as you saw, uh, well, maybe well, you didn't see, but um, there was there were three cards with an empty one in front. I released that empty one in front. Um, and meanwhile, another one came. Ooh, nice example. Another one comes. Uh, one gets released and goes back into the system. Um, it's not flawless, but it, it works for the majority. And I have individual uh, tracks ending up here, so from here I can manually resupply it with uh, five new cards if something goes wrong. Uh, yeah, sometimes the card actually gets too much momentum and feels a bit, but I made it so that. Uh, it, they all go back into the track system anyway for the most part um, it's a bit hard to show and see I had to make a, a roof on top so they, if if you go out here by day, then then the mobs waiting won't just die horribly by catching fire from the sun rays. Um, but let's see this in action. If I put this um, button in, that bit of track gets switched at the right time. That uh, front card goes through it. I don't know why that happened, but and uh, one more, so it actually goes to the front side. So there are two creepers waiting. Uh, I should get a bow and arrow right now and get ready for it to come. And as you see, it. Uh, went into the front row and you can fire upon it. I made a bit of protection because as you saw in the, in the outtake um, it worked and three creepers came out and exploded into a big hole and killed me and that wasn't too fun. So I made a marginally saver by uh, putting more distance in between and uh, separating the the track with uh, with an actual mob from the track that uh, that's just used to feed back into the system. Um, that's about it. Thanks for watching, and I'll um, go through it one more time just for fun. So one more, and it reaches the front, and then. One more. It comes out front. 
and the button that I pressed here first was just to either release all the cards at once or uh, my, if I pull the lever I can release them all back into the system at once uh, or just one at a time or resupply it with a few more cards and have a better chance at uh, a few more coming out the front end so thanks for watching and uh, I'll talk to you later